Attendance of this week, the San Diego Comic Con will be the first one to play Doctor Who the edge of a time. As the game is set to make its debut during the event, fans will also get to see a sneak peek of the iconic TARDIS plus a new title sequence for the VR game. Maze Theory's creative director Marcus Morris Bay promises that the game offers players a chance to experience TARDIS like never before, as his team took 1,200 hours to recreate it for VR. The game will launch this September. Mercury's team has announced the newest character joining its free-to-play game, Space Lord. The new character is Suma, and she's available now in the game. Suma is a warrior priest, and she was brought to life thanks to Dutch actress the model Stephanie Justin, who agreed to lend her voice and image for the character. Suma is part of the martial cult Algia Creed, who joined the resistance fighters, raiders, and joining the Umbra War Dogs faction. Novorama's action RPG Kill Squad is now in the Steam Early Access. This top-down cope action RPG features a futuristic world and players will play as a bounty hunters call Kill Squad, who take into context and raid planets for loot and bragging rights. The game features fast-paced battles and brutal enemies. It also allows players to customize their heroes as it one has its own class and skill tree that players can unlock as they progress. announced that the Nintendo Switch release day for Resident Evil 5 and 6. The company also announced that these two games will be joining by Resident Evil 4, making it a triple pack. The Resident Evil triple pack for Switch will officially launch in October 29, and Resident Evil 4 will come with a cartridge, while 5 and 6 are both available in digital form. Resident Evil 5 will come with a gold edition content, while Resident Evil 6 will come with all previously released DLCs. who own the Keepers of the Void DLC for Darksider 3 will get the Abyssal Armor which was not included in the third game but it was traditionally included in the first and the second ones. So the Abyssal Armor is the strongest armor set in the game and was meant for as a reward for dedicated players. The Darksider 3 Keepers of the Void DLC is available now.
Nintendo released the trailer which showcases Nintendo's Switch releases for the summer. The trailer included a sneak peek at the Super Smash Bros. DLC and it looks like Hero from Dragon Quest is the new DLC character. The trailer mentioned Fire Pass with a subtext that says Hero joins the battle. Nintendo is yet to officially release word on this as the report is only based on the video the company released. Assassin's Creed Odyssey's Fate of Atlantis DLC is finally complete with the release of its final episode, Judgment of Atlantis. The final DLC is available now and the players will let you experience the legendary world of Atlantis. In order to play Judgment of Atlantis, players must have completed the two previous episodes and all their requirements such as reaching level 28 and above. Phoenix Labs announced the latest update coming to Dauntless. The new update called Fortune and Glory adds a new content to the game, including trials, a new hunt pass, and cosmetic rewards. The arrival of Fortune and Glory also marks the start of the game's sixth season, High Skies, which also comes with the two new hunt passes. The first of the two is available with its update, while the second one's official release is yet to be announced. Sega's Super Monkey Ball series is making a comeback this year after a long hiatus. The 2016, uh, 2006 Wii game has been remastered and is now called Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz HD. The game is set to arrive October of this year for Nintendo Switch, PS4, and Xbox One. It is also planned for release on PC sometime in winter, and the remastered version comes with updated visuals as well as optimized control schemes for each platform. It also features 100 single player levels and 10 different multiplayer minigames and a lot more. Tetris Effect is no longer exclusively available on PS4 as the game is yet to also launch on PC. Tetris Effect will be launching exclusively on the Epic Games Store and will be available starting July 23rd. The developer says the uh, game's PC version as the ultimate version of the game as it features an copped frame rate. Ultra-wide monitors monitor support, 4K resolution, and a lot more. The game is currently available at a discount in Epic Games until August 6.
Overwatch has officially kicked off its summer games. The event runs until August, and it features three weeks of challenges players can complete, plus a new cosmetic players can unlock. So the fan favorite arcade mode is also back for a limited time. Completing challenges will reward players with awesome skins, which they can only win on the specific weeks during the summer games. Four legendary skins are also available to be unlocked in the loose boxes: Kindu Kagenji. Lost Ball, Wrecking Ball, Surf and Splash, Torbjorn, and the Wave, Hanzo. The deal for today is the Tales of Dysteria, and this is an action role playing Japanese style game from Bonza Nanka Games. Our best price for the game right now is 11 euro.14 cents as compared to 14 euro.99 cents in Steam. Get to save up to 77% off on your city key portraits and sublet top and exclamation mark deal in the stream chat for you to get more of our featured deals. Go to allkeyshop.com and compare your city key prices. Gearbox is inviting fans of its Borderlands series to sign up to Borderlands 3 Vault Entire Program in exchange for free loot for Borderlands games. This comes with a Borderlands 3 Welcome Pack, which contains high rarity grenade and shield mods. VIP weapon strength that will unlock when Borderlands 3 launches. There are also more items in the Vault Entire Program, such as gun skins, which players can unlock by using points. PUBG has received another huge update and it's now live on the PC test servers. The update, labeled as Patch 4.1, remasters the Arangel map. With the patch, players will see a lot of significant upgrades to the map's visual, including its iconic locations, buildings, and terrain, among others. The update also comes with tons of gameplay improvements such as buffs and nerfs to weapons. You can view the full patch notes in the game's website. A new client patch has arrived in Apex Legends. This new patch fixes the Havoc exploit, which allows players to fire it full auto without charging up. Aside from this, the patch also brings other fixes to games, such as fixes to cases of players being set in non-optional data centers. The devs also said they have temporarily removed Season 1 stats with this patch as they worked on some issues with it. Here. You're 
A new Picross game is coming to Switch. Picross Lord of the Nazarick will be launching on July 25th. It's gonna be in Japan. It will feature a crossover with Anime Overlord. In addition to numbers and puzzles, the game features a total of 519 puzzles and players can progress through the story by unlocking images. Picross Lord of the Nazarick is being developed by Jupiter. Retro Space Shooter Darklings Invasion is coming to PC and PS4 next month. The game will be available starting August 1st on the set platforms. It is available on Xbox One as of July 10th. The game has English and Turkish dub voiceovers plus subtitles, subtitles in UI in German, Italian, French, Russian, Japanese, Portuguese, Polish, and Spanish. The game's developer Hero Concept said that the game is inspired by 70s animation Barba Papa, specifically its shape shifting creatures. Avalanche has announced Rage 2's Update 2, which will be arriving on July 25th. This update introduces three new game modes, Iron Man, Ultra Nightmare, and New Game Plus. In addition to quality of life improvements, this includes the addition of flashlight, skippable art, tutorials, and a lot more. This update also includes bug fixes. The full patch notes will be available on the game's website once Avalanche published it. Bandai Namco has confirmed that players will be able to play other characters in Dragon Ball Z Kakarot aside from Goku. These other playable characters are Vegeta, Piccolo, and Gogan, Gohan. So far, only these characters have been confirmed as playable ones. Krillin, Yamcha, Thin Shinhan, and Chaozu will be support characters for Goku, and they can be called for help by using certain buttons combination. Dragon Ball Z Kakarot will be launching sometime that would be next year. Metal Gear Solid 5 Phantom Pain is among the games being added in Xbox Game Pass. The game will be available for subscribers on the Xbox One starting July 18. Aside from Metal Gear Solid 5, there are also a bunch of games being added in the program like Night Call, which is available for subscribers on PC. The Banner Saga 3 will be available for both PC and Xbox One subscribers on July 18th as well.
Fortnite's overtime challenges for Season 9 have been leaked. Based on the leak, the challenges include reaching a certain battle pass tire, working together with friends to get eliminations, reviving a friend in different matches, dancing inside a holographic door burger head, placing top 15 in duos or squads with a friend, and more. The overtime challenges were leaked by Fortnite League stats on Twitter. The latest expansion for Darksider 3, Keepers of the Void, is out now. This new expansion sends a fury to a new quest in a new location with a lot of new rewards to earn. Rewards include new weapon forms for the Hollows in the High Star Abyssal Armor gear set which was included in both Darksiders 1 and Darksiders 2. Darksiders 3 and the Keepers of the Void DLC are available on PC, Xbox One, as well as on PlayStation 4. Operation Apocalypse Z is now available on Call of Duty Black Ops 4 on PC. This is thanks to a new update which also brings improvements to the game. Operation Apocalypse Z allows players to play as Reaper in multiplayer, plus players can take on a couple of new limited time modes that's in Blackout, Quads, Fog, and Alcatraz Horde. The full patch notes for this update is available at the Black Ops 4's website. The deal for today is Heroes of Might and Magic 5. This is a strategy turn-based fantasy general game from Nival Interactive. Our best price for the game right now is for 2.47 euro as compared to 9.99 euro on Steam. Get to save 73% on your CDK purchase by buying the game through us via our trusted stores. We have more deals for you to check out. Type in now exclamation mark deal in the chat. And get the best deals out of your money and go to allkeyshop.com and compare city key prizes. 